you're welcome to my channel, Mindset Academy, where we want to solve the problem that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. And the question attached to this problem is the block in figure below is drawn in oblique projection. Enlarge the block to a ratio 5 is to 2 using O as the viewpoint, right? So the first thing we have to do is to draw back the figure as shown at the right hand side of the screen. So let's start. Now we we'll say that here should be my point O. Can you see that? I'll take here to be what? My point O at this point. Point what? Point O. Now I'm going to draw a line this way from that point O in this fashion, faint line. Can you see that? Now from that point O, I'll bring measure a distance of what? 40 as you can see from the diagram. So from 0 to what? To 40. So let me enlarge it a little bit so we we'll see where we're actually going through. So from 0 to what? 40. So that is when I will draw, start drawing my figure. So let's see how that goes. So if I from here, I project it down, and I'm going to measure height of what? 20. Height of what? 20. So from 0 to 2 is given to be what? 20. So I'm going to tick in that part of it. Can you see that? Now, I'm going to draw the base this way too, from here, another 20. So I can easily use my meter rule and just measure them that way. From 0 to what? To 20 again. Which I'm going to what? Take in. And I'll take it up to 20 again. Can you see that? And I'll close it up here. 20. Can you see that? Now, aside that, this is oblique. One of the angles here is at what? 45 degree. So I'm going to project this this way. I'll project and I'll measure what? 30. So from 0 to 30. 0 to 3 is giving us 30, which I'm going to tick in. Can you see that? So I'll take it up to faint line. So I'll bring this from this point to come and meet it. I will take in this side too. Can you see that? Then I'll take you this way backward. Just replicating what I saw on the screen or what I'm seeing on the screen in here there and close it up so this is what we have here right so what I'll do is we are giving the circle here to have a radius of what five so to get the center of that figure I'll just join diagonals this way from here to here draw a faint line taking reference point from these two points also from here to here another one so where they meet that will be the center of the figure then i'll take my compass and i'll measure the radius of what radius of five from zero to five right and i'll place it here where i'm going to draw the circle can you see that that will help. So I can easily just um, draw my center line. Long, short, long, short, long. Then here also. Long, short, long, short, long. Can you see that? Now, if say we should enlarge the figure from this point O. So when we talk about enlargement, is you focus on the four corners of the 
shape. So let me take it to be my corner A, my corner B, corner C, corner D. Let's say this is E. Then there's one here. Let me call it to be um, F. Here to be what? G. Right? So project my imaginary line or my projection line from O to go through each of those points this way. Hope you can see that. So I'll project it from this point from O through A, from O through B, from O through C. The same level as this from O through G. Right? From O through F. From O through E. Hope you can see that. This is what you are going to do with to enlarge this. Now, now draw another extra line this way. In this manner. At any given radius. Right? At any given radius. And I'll mark 5. Since we're having 5 ratio 2. So I'm going to mark 5 at any given radius with my compass. So I can just from here use 10 millimeter and mark through. Depending on you. So I always come and say this is one, two, three, four, and five. Right? So I'll name them down. This should be one, two, three, four, and what? Five. Since five is at the left hand side is enlargement. If 5 was at the right hand side, it would be what? Reduction. So we are what? We are enlarging this. Right? I'm coming again. I say whenever you have two ratios this way, and it's having, if the one, this is the left hand side, and this is what? The right hand side. If you have a smaller value at the left hand side, it means you want to what? Reduce. But if you have a larger value at the left hand side, it means that what? You want to enlarge. So since we have this, we are enlarging. So I'll just connect point A, right, to 2. We want to enlarge from 2 to 5. From A to 2. Can you see that? From A to what? To 2. Let me put it very well. So you see what I'm talking about. From A to 2. Can you see that? Once I've done that, you see that I left it. Then I'll take the other guy. This guy. And I'll place him here. Right? So when I place him here, so I can start sliding this. I would there. I start sliding this to each of those points. So let's make it more. Let me clarify that again. So this is how we have. Let me just put it well. It will not move away. So I'll start moving it. So to three. I'll take it to 4, take it there, to 5, take it there, right? We already have one, I don't really need the one, I'm going higher, this is what we have here, is that okay? So we're moving to what, 5, so this 5 you see here is my new A, so I'll call it A prime, so this is A, this A, so if I want to get B, Right, if I want to get A to B, is I'll use this same method. Then I'll just this is a line of what a line of B. So I'll move this through to what straight to B this way. Can you see that? I'm taking it that way. So this is A, and this is what B. Can you see that? Similarly. I want to get to D, and this is the line of D. So if I'm going to D, I'll from here move from this point straight down to what? To D. 
right this is my d here can you see that similarly if i should move from a i'll get point c see the same line as what d so i'll move from here to point c this is my point what my point c so i'll call it prime 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 and i am going to close it up this way can you see that similarly with the same 45 i want to get from d will lead me to what f so i'll move from my instrument i'll go to the line of f so this is my line of what f I'll call it F prime. Similarly, to, from C to G, so I'll move from C to the line of G, from C straight down to G. So this is G we have, call it G prime. Then they are closed. So F and G are closed this way. Can you see that? Now, the next one is um the next one here is from b to e this is the line of e here so i'm going to take stay in 45 degree from b to the line of e so that is the e we have we call it the e prime and e is connected to f this way e is connected to f this way is E here, so I'll bring it down to F from E to F. Hope you can see that, right? So we'll move again. Now we've done that aspect, so what's remaining now will be what we have here. So there are many ways we can go about that. We can easily just simply project this line downward this way so let's project this down, down this way a so i bring a down right and i'm going to bring this down too so the logic these two lines down and these two line down. So what I want to do, there are many ways you can go about this. I'll from here, from A, I'll produce this center line this way. And now from this arc here, I'll produce the other center line this way. So I'll just call it my points P and Q. So my point P and Q. So from that O, I'm going to project through point Q from O this way and P also this way then I'll bring the A down here there are many ways you can go about that so I'll bring the A down here so if you look at it P is coming to meet here I'll call it P prime and Q is coming here I'll call here to go what Q prime can you see that? So I'll just come from A again. This way. And I'll go to P to get the center of that figure. Touch here. And I'll go to A to get what I need. Touch here. So you see what I want to do now? I'll just take here up this way. Right? And I'll take here up to this way. Can you see that? There are many ways, like I said, I can go about it. So I can just from here project my line to pass through that point. This is also on the vertical line there. This point here. So where it meets the center line here. Right? Where it meets the center line there, or better still. Or better still, I will just project through the center here. So, since I'm going to the center, this is where it is meeting. So, that's the center there. 
So if I take my compass and I place it here, I'm going to get what I want. Right? So there are many ways you can go about it. There are many ways you can actually go about it. If you don't want to do that, there are many ways. So that is what we have. That is we've successfully enlarged given figure. Is that the case now? So if you follow this process, you'll be able to bring out this figure that you have here. So this is the enlargement of this. So now let's confirm and see if we are correct. From the diagram, from A to C is 20. And we are having 5 over what? 5 is to 2 means 5 over 2. So 5 over 2 of 20 means 5 over 2 times 20. And 2 in 20, is that means 5 times 20 is 100. 100 divided by 2 is what? It's 50. So it means that if from here is 20, from here to here should be what? 50. So let's confirm that and see. So from 0 to here is given as what? As 50. Can you see that? From 0 to 5, 50. So that is from here to here is what? It's 20. This is what we have. So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.